Well, we'll get started on our backs and find a comfortable opening shavasana body. Um, if you'd like to feel a little bit less on your back, you can bend the knees, let the knees fall into each other. And tuck that chin down to the chest just a little bit, grow all through the crown of your head. Hands lie wherever feels comfortable. Maybe palm face open, down by the side. And begin to notice your breathing. Don't try to change it or anything, just notice your breathing. Notice your breath this time. Where do you notice your breath? Maybe you follow it only through the nose and the back of the throat. Maybe you bring that awareness with you, fill the lungs, feel the rise and fall of your body. We'll take three really deep breaths at your own pace, of course, but inhale, and then when you're all the way at the top of the inhale, hold for one to two seconds. Sip in a little more. And then exhale softly through the lips. Not a forced exhale, let it be soft. And the maybe side. Pause at the bottom. Loop two more like that. Really deep inhale, really deep exhale. Try to pause, maybe even it's a little uncomfortable, just sipping in that extra oxygen and releasing a little bit more. Turn to normal breathing. Start to notice your body lying on the mat. Notice the pressure in the mat holding you back up. Notice any spots in the body you might be holding, holding on to something tonight. Shoulder space. So. Yeah. Maybe the hips, maybe the bottom of the feet. Just notice your body. Notice whatever you're noticing. No judgment. Super gentle. And for practice tonight, I brought along a little reading has to do with yoga, which is not just a practice of the body, the physical sauna. Yoga is union of body, mind, and spirit. So this chapter says, silencing the heart mind. Love opens my chest and thought returns to its confines. So see tonight if you can stay out of your head just a little bit more than usual. Silencing that heart mind and stepping back to that inner light of the awareness that we cultivate here and we bring off the mats with us. During the journey through life, our heart mind accumulates memories from every experience which influence our thoughts, emotions, and therefore our actions. The activities buzzing around in our consciousness make us think that we are these actions. Yoga is, by definition, a process of quieting these activities in order to be able to look deeply within and connect with that which never moves, a divine inner light. And in this space, maybe setting an intention for your practice. Something that's very gentle on yourself, on your body. In these colder times, we're kind of preserving our energy. And moving a little bit slowly, even. Being careful, especially on this cold, windy day. So an intention for your practice. It could be an intention for some 
Something that's like a bind. And send it out. We'll inhale through the nose, deep inhale. Exhale, open the lips, side it out. Invite some movement into the body very gently. Windshield wipe your knees side to side. You can cactus the arms to help keep that balance. And just open the hips. You might even kind of keep the eyes maybe closed a little bit. Just we're transitioning into our practice, noticing our bodies. Bring the knees up to the chest. Give yourself a little hug. Get that spine nice and flat on the mat. Wrap, wrap your arms around your shins. Rock side to side. And then we'll come to a Sukta Baddha Konasana, butterfly pose. Bring those feet back down to the mat. Outsides of the feet come together. Guide the knees out, but hold them with your hands so it's not too much. You can support those thighs. Try to keep the entire length of your spine on the mat, even the back of that neck. And then breathe into that front of the hip, both hips. Nice and gentle, nice and slow. Maybe if you're feeling open, you can kind of butterfly the knees up and down. But just be mindful where you are tonight. All right, very gently grab those knees, bring them back to center, bring them up to the chest. We'll come to one happy baby. Grab the outsides of the knees, and kind of rock and roll side to side, it's kind of getting the hips a little bit lower each time. Really notice how flat this pose um, helps get your spine. It really is trying to get your tailbone all the way through your shoulder blades, glued to the mat. Breathe into those hips a couple more times. All right, we'll come back to center, kick the heels up towards the ceiling, do some ankle circles here, just breathing into the both feet, flexing, pointing the toes, noticing both ankles. And then grab the back of the thighs, bring them towards your face a little bit, keep those legs straight, press through the bottom of your heels, press up towards the ceiling through the heels, but then bring the legs closer to you. Let those hamstrings open up. And then again, point and flex those toes, this different angle. We'll get into the calf a little bit deeper. Deep and intentional breathing here, warming up the body. You jive breathing, warrior breath. Warming ourselves from the inside out. And then grab the back of the thighs. We'll rock and roll along the spine, giving ourselves a little massage. A few rolls here. Then we'll come to a comfortable seated position. You can cross the legs, which everyone comfortable on top. Hands on the knees, sit up nice and tall. We'll breathe into the neck with the head hang heavy. Take some neck circles here. Go nice and slow so you can feel every little detail. Noticing everything about this posture, about stretching the head, the neck. You can add some weight with that hand. That feels good to add a little weight. Keep sitting up tall with the core of the spine. And then we'll come back to neutral. Take our hands to opposite knees here. Set or sit, sit back, drop your chin down to your chest, pull those knees up a little bit, and feel the upper shoulder blades pulling apart. 
keep pulling the chin pull down to the chest. If you don't feel it, keep kind of leaning back, pull from those knees. And then we'll come forward and just switch positions, switch the hands so the other one's on top. Even out those shoulders and relax, send it back, arch the spine, drop the chin, let the forehead come down. Breathe into the shoulder blade space. And then inhale back to center. We'll sweep the hands overhead and then exhale, take them to a twist. So go to the right, left hand, right knee, right hand behind you. Inhale, grow a little taller, exhale, twist to the right. Let that chin track towards the shoulder. And then inhale back to center. Let your exhale guide you to the left. Same thing, other side. Left hand behind that tailbone, right hand on the leg somewhere. Use that grip to pull you into the spinal twist. Follow that twist from the tailbone to the crown of the head. See if you can visualize it. And back to center. Pull over those knees, come to your tabletop position. Beginning your cat cow, inhale, point those lower ribs down, gaze goes up. Exhale, arch the spine, let the head hang heavy. Moving through your cat cow, your practice, whatever feels nice for you. Try to use that strong warrior breath, really making those ocean wave sounds. If you're trying to fog up a window when it's cold, you go, ah. But breathing with the lips closed for you, Jai. You can bend the elbows. You can even close the eyes here. And then take the hands a little bit farther in front of where they are at work and add the hip circles. So add a little movement. Nice and wide, go both directions. Drawing circles with that belly button. Keep your core pulled in and protect the low back. And just let the breath and the movement kind of guide the body. All right, back to your tabletop. Hands over shoulders, knees in the hips. We'll tuck all 10 toes. Now an exhale with the hips, first down dog with the glass, send them high, pedal those heels out, walking the dog, first down dog with the glass. Let's go through a little foundation check. So spread those fingers wide, pointer finger facing straight. They should be kind of parallel. But spread the fingers wide though. And you're pressing through that juicy part between the thumb and the pointer finger, try to press that down. Gaze back between the legs. Yeah, maybe still pedaling out the feet. Breathe into your body, your practice, whatever feels nice. The shoulders here should feel nice and open. Try to rotate the armpits in a little bit. Look at the space between your hands on an exhale, tippy toe to the front of the mat. Keep the hips nice and high. Just tippy toe, tippy toe, use the core. Grab doll pose, belly hangs out on the thighs, bend the knees. Release completely all the weight from the tailbone down through the curve of the head. You can kind of shake it out here, maybe bounce the knees a little bit, shake the head, rock side to side. Try to find a little more length, like gravity doing the work. Yeah, maybe if those hands drop to the floor, maybe walk from side to side, grip onto the mat. Breathe into that side body. Keep relaxing the head and neck space. We tend to try to hold up the head here. Last real nice exhale. Release and then slowly we'll roll up to standing. One vertebrae at a time with the head be the last thing to come up. Then we'll take a couple of shoulder rolls here. Just pull them up towards the ears. Where we don't want to be, and then relax and down. Ah, nice. Couple more. Inhale up, exhale down. 
Go ahead and shake out the whole body for a second here. Get off those ankles, shake out the hands. Maybe sway side to side. A lot of yoga is finding stillness, so sometimes you just got to shake it out a little bit. All right, let's meet mountain pose. So those feet are right under the hips. You have the chakras, little eyelids on the bottom of the feet. Open them up, ground down to the earth, grows taller through the spine. There's a string on the top of the head, pulling me taller, hands shine forward. Inhale, hands overhead. Exhale, into the hips, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, shine the heart forward. Exhale, plank the hands, step back, plank pose, hold plank. Modification to drop to your knees at any time, otherwise building strength in plank pose. We're gonna take right knee, left elbow, tap, send it back, left knee, right elbow, tap, send it back. Keep going with your breath, nobody else's. Work at your own pace, tune so much into your body that the movement just guides you. Focus, you can use your gaze to focus, that drift seat right on the floor. Keep the hips low. Every movement counts, every breath helps. Couple more. Maybe that knee can touch the armpit, maybe you can lift it a little higher on top of the elbow. All right, straighten through those heels, drop the knees. We'll come to eight point pose. So drop your chest and your chin between the thumbs. Try to keep a little C curve in that spine to start. And then let the legs go long. Press the feet into the mat. Inhale, forward pose. Lift the chest. Try not to use the hands. Press the thighs into the mat. Use your low back, forward pose. Relax down, chin comes down to the mat. Take a breath here. Bend the knees and shoulder from the feet side to side. A little low back release. And then come back to center, press the feet into the mat. Inhale, cobra pose again. This time, maybe coming to sphinx, coming onto those forearms if you like that deep back bend. Not only pressing into the mat, but pulling yourself forward, growing taller in space. Beautiful. Nice back bend and release hands under the shoulders. Press back to child's pose. Nice and slow with that spine front length. Send the hips back towards the heels. Maybe kind of wiggle the hips side to side, to kind of settle them back down. At any time during the class, you can come to this pose, child's pose, or down dog for the rest. A couple more breaths here. And then lift the hips, come forward to a puppy pose. So it's like child's pose, but you're probably gonna bring the knees a little more close together. Walk the hands in front of you, just like child, but puppy pose with the hips lifted. Let the forehead come back down. Breathe into the front of the shoulders. If you feel like you're kind of curving that low back, pull your core up and in. You wanna be nice and strong here. If you don't feel it, come up onto those tippy toe or the tippy hands, tippy fingertips. Yeah, add a little height. And then walk our hands over to the right. Really reach through the left fingertips. With an inhale, find that length, and then exhale, sink the weight back into the left hip, side body strength. Keep using your core to pull up. You don't want to get any droopiness in that low back. Nice and strong. And then walk the hands through center over to the left. Reach to the right fingertips with an inhale, you find length, exhale, send it back. Sink the weight over to the low right corner of the mat. Let the forehead rest wherever it's just comfortable. Last exhale, your inhale will bring you back to tabletop, hands under the shoulders. And send it back to down dog. Lift the hips, send them back, maybe pedal out the feet, resetting. And then on the bottom of an exhale, leave the space between the hands, walk step or hop to the front of your mat. When you get there, inhale, half lift, shine the heart forward. 
Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reverse one leg all the way to standing tall. So that's straight spine. Hands to heart center, down by the side. We'll come to a chair pose. So bring that big toes to touch, some space between the heels for chair pose. Then you want to keep those knees glued as much as you can. Inhale, sit back, sweep the hands forward. Imagine you have that tail, tuck it down to the earth, sink a little lower. And then exhale, for hands twist to the right, left elbow, right knee. Grip it as far as you can. And then every breath has a little bit of movement here. You inhale, reach through the crown of the head. Exhale, press into the palms to add some twist. Knees over to the right. Sink the hips a little lower. Move the weight into the right foot. Kickstand the left toes so you're on the ball of the foot. And then lift the left heel towards the left glute. Just balancing here. I don't think it has a name. <laughs> and then send it back high lunge with prayer hands, twist. Working on that transition. Beautiful, yeah, super tricky. Nice job. And then we'll inhale to high lunge, sweep those hands forward. Exhale, plant the hands. Step the right foot back to meet the left. Same exhale, chaturanga, half push up. Inhale as you're up dog or cobra pose. Exhale, we meet you down dog. One strong inhale here. Exhale, look at the space between your hands. Walk step or hop to the front of your back. When you get there, inhale, half lift. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive. Come up with that straight spine, micro bend in the knees. And exhale, hands to the heart center. Coming back to chair pose, same thing, other side. Keep those big toes to touch and knees glued. Inhale, sweep the hands forward. Keep those hips so low. Hold those low ribs in as well. Tailbone down. Make sure you can see your big toes. Exhale, go to the left this time. Bring the palms together, right knee, left elbow. Pull the core up. Sink the hips low, sink the hips low, nice. Use your dristy, something on the floor, over on that left side wall. And then move the weight to the left foot. Kickstand the right toes, you're on the ball of the foot. You know where we're going, so take your modification wherever your practice is at today. Maybe you lift the heel towards the glute, send it back, high lunge. Left foot planted, you're on the ball of the back foot. Lots of wobbles, yep, I know, I love it. And then inhale, sweep the hands forward. Strong high lunge, we'll return to this later. Exhale, plant the hands. Your same exhale is a half push up all the way down. Big breath. Inhale, up dog or cobra pose. Exhale, we knee down dog. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, side it out. Release that heat. Left big toe to the center line of the mat. Inhale, your right foot high to the sky. Bend the knee. Take some hip circles here. Drawing circles with the knee. And then straight into that right leg, three-legged down dog. Exhale, right knee, left elbow, I'll give it a tap. Inhale, lift. Second exhale, same thing. Knee goes across the body, left elbow, tap. Inhale, lift. Third one, same thing. Or come all the way to fall and try and straighten through that right leg. Let that outer edge of the foot plant on the floor. Inhale, the left hand high to the sky. Beautiful fall and triangles. Maybe you lift up that bottom foot. Nice. Send the right hand back to the mat, three-legged down dog. And exhale, low lunge. Plant the right foot between your two hands. Drop your back knee. Oh, I'm always out of breath when we get to this point. All right, so your, your high or your low lunge is going to open up that left hip flexor. So you can have a walk here to keep the chest lifted. If you're not really feeling it, maybe you come out a little bit, tuck your tailbone down under, pull your core in and settle back forward. And then if there's any pain in the knee, you can double up that mat. Relax the shoulders, relax the jaw.
and then send it back to half split straight into your front leg. Walk your right heel a little bit farther forward for balance. Flex your right toes up towards the face. Inhale, lift the chest finally. Exhale, fold over right shin. That block is a nice crop here just for balance. On your other hand. This is a nice pose to inhale out of it a little bit, find some length. And exhale, fold a little deeper. If you have full splits in your practice, you can go ahead and take that as well. Couple more breaths. All right. We're going to come forward back to high lunge. Grab through the right foot, sweep your hands through center, high lunge. Deep bend in that front knee. Or you're through, you take that back foot in the air, hands forward, you look like your capital T from the side. Squeeze those glutes together, pull your belly button up and in, everything's working here. And then stay more your three, or we're gonna have some curtsy lunges. So left knee, right calf. Squat, stand back up, warrior three. Squat, left knee, right calf. To make it harder, hands stay in front of you to reduce. Uh, so, or to make it less wobbly, hands be out of the center. Keep going. Last two standing splits. Hands down, left foot up. Relax your forehead down to the right foot. Keep kicking that left foot as high as you can. Maybe even shake out the head a little bit here. You don't have to hold up the head and neck. Challenge your balance. Bring one or both hands to the back of your calf. Beautiful job. And then drop it to pyramid pose. So left foot three to four feet apart behind right foot. Grab your block. This is a great pose for that prop. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, fold forehead down over that left right shin. Two more exhales here. Two more breaths. Try to get into your deepest pyramid pose right here. Last exhale. We'll inhale, lift the chest, revolve triangle. So left hand on the inside of right foot. Inhale, sweep your right hand open. If you have that block, it's under the left hand. Twist towards the, um, the orange wall. So you're in triangle. Twist. Yeah. All right, revolve half moon. Left hand in front of your right toes. Pop your back foot up. So bring your, switch your hands. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Good job, bouncing through right foot, beautiful. Kick up with that left heel. And then plant those hands, step back, take it through your Chaturanga Vinyasa. Skip it, knee and down dog. One breath for movement, letting you lead us back in down dog. We'll always be in down dog. Find that nice, strong breath. And then inhale, left foot, head to the sky, bend the knee. Same thing, other side. Find your strength here, hip circles. Drawing circles with the knee, both directions. Keep those shoulders square to the mat. You can do it. All right, straighten into the leg, three legged like down dog. And then exhale, left knee, right elbow, tap. Inhale, lift. Same thing, second exhale, knee goes across the body, right elbow tap. Inhale, lift. Third exhale, come into fall and triangle straight through that left leg. Inhale, sweep the right hand up to the sky. Maybe if that left foot lifts off the mat or off the floor, nicely, super good. All right, plant the right foot, lift that left foot high. And then exhale, low lunge. Plant the foot between the hands, drop your right knee. Same thing, other side, we spend five or 10 breaths here. Open your right side. Maybe that block helps. Good block here. We come out of it. Come back in. Use that core to pull in. Mula and Mula the Relax the shoulders, relax the face, relax the body, the feet even. And then last exhale here, release, send it back, half split, straight into your left leg. Walk your feet 
you know, a couple inches forward for balance. Maybe there's that block into your hand. Inhale, half lift over left leg. And exhale, fold forward down towards the shin. That's for you. You can do that as many times as you'd like. But inhale, lifting and exhale, folding. I find it helpful if it feels stuck in the pose, so I'll nod it a little bit. And then exhale. So lift the chest, come forward, high lunge, ground through the left foot, pick up the back knee, sweep those hands forward, deep as the left foot. And then we fly, warrior three, pick up the right foot, working on transitions there. Squeeze the glutes together, hands forward. Option for yogi squat, right knee, left calf, straight back out. Drop down 50, straight back out, stay with it. Grounding through left foot for those little ankle muscles working even. Two more. Woo. Okay, standing splits, hands to the floor, kick that right foot high. Relax your head down towards left foot. Again, even here, squeezing those glutes. Roll your right big toe towards the center line of the body so it keeps your hips square to the mat. Relax the head and neck. Try practicing bringing one hand to the back of your calf at a time, testing out that balance. And then release the foot to pyramid pose. Heel to heel alignment, back foot three to four feet behind the first heel. Bring that block with you. Inhale, lift the chest straight into both legs. Exhale, forehead down towards left shin. Intense back this stretch, the back of the leg stretch. So go gently, slowly into it, taking the most time of it. <sighs> we tend to hold up our heads here. You don't have to relax the neck. Okay, lift the chest, revolve triangle. This time, right hand on the inside, left foot. Inhale, sweep that heart space open to the sky. Your over to the windows now, yes. Revolve triangle, you're a little bit twisted in the spine. Use this pose to add that spinal twist because from here we're moving to revolve half the moon. So now that back foot lifts up, your right hand comes to the front of left toes. Keep the revolve of the hand. Pop up to revolve half the moon. Balancing posture, you got it. Take it down after this, stay strong. And relax the hands down, step back, take it through each other on the vinyasa. Or skip it. We'll meet down dog, meet us down dog. We'll come to pigeon pose after that, stretch it out. So use those strong legs, take you back to down dog. And then inhale, right foot lifts in your own time. Exhale, bring the knee to behind the right wrist. Lower down to pigeon, we'll take rest here. Grab some water as we settle down into our right side. Try to bring your shin as high as the mat as you can. You can even kind of roll your thigh out a little bit as you want to settle down to the inside side of that leg. Coming to full expression of the you can drop down one of both forearms. We'll be here for a full minute to give you guys some kind of feel for because if you're too much in the stretch, you might not be able to hold for a minute. So find that sweet spot. And if there's any pain or pinching, do a supine figure four. We don't want to push anything. More seconds, try to get two more deep intentional breaths. Send that breath to that tension spot. And we'll kind of lift the chest, roll out of it, press those hands underneath you, roll to the right hip, 
and we'll swing our left foot all the way around until it lands on the outside of right knee. Left knee pointing straight up, ground down through those sit bones. We're going to do another spinal twist here, just like the beginning of class. Inhale, reach the hands overhead, and exhale, twist to the left. Left heel behind you, right arm hooks on that thigh somewhere. Blue arm. Um, a bit more comfortable to release that bottom leg. Right? Whatever you have to do to add the spinal twist, let the chin follow all the way over to the left shoulder. See if you can go a little deeper than you did. The first one. And then we'll release through center, bring both hands all the way over to the right off the mat, drop your chest in between the thumbs, little counter twist, and press back up, just a short little counter twist. We'll come to full expression of pigeon now, fire log pose, so stack both knees and ankles. Bring that block with you if you want to add that as support between left knee and right foot. It kind of helps loosen the weight a little bit. This pose is, is going to be different. So this could be a pose right here. This could be at your fire log. Or if that feels okay for you, you can begin to bow over the shins, letting the forehead reach down towards the floor. Breathing into both hips here, super gentle. Let every breath kind of relax a little more, a little more releasing. Last thing you can do if your hands are forward is walk from side to side, kind of like that um, where we reach side to side in um, puppy pose, really reach through the opposite fingertips and across the body. Even yourself out, go in both directions. Uh -huh, all right, come back to center. Everybody will release those feet out. Press the heels into the mat. We'll just reach the wipe through the knees a couple times. Breathe into those hips. And then we'll come to a straight leg pose. So kick those heels out. We'll staff pose. Press through the base of the heels. We're trying to grow our legs as long as we can. And then I kind of wiggle the hips forward, trying to get the sit bones to the mat. Hands on the hips. Inhale, grow tall. And exhale, hinge of the hips forward fold. Try to keep the spine straight as long as you can, and then relax the hands to the floor, forehead down towards the shins. Come into your forward fold. This is another awesome pose. If you get stuck, which totally happens, inhale, release back out of it. Your next exhale, come back in, forehead down towards the top of the feet. Pull the belly button up and in, creating space and stay with that warrior breathing, your giant breath. All right, we'll lift on up out of that. Let's cross the knee or the feet roll over the knees and then we'll do pigeon pose other side. So come back to down dog. Maybe stretch out the legs a little bit, walk the dog for a second. Whatever feels nice, and then we'll come to pigeon pose, other side. So inhale, left foot lifts. And exhale, knee to the back of the left wrist. Try to get your shin super high on the mat. Begin to settle those hips down. As the hips are coming down to the mat, try to keep them square to the front of the back. And gently rolling down into one of both forearms. 60 seconds here. Find that sweet spot. Let your breath open the left hip. See if you can release just even one, one more cell at a time. A little bit more space, a little bit more opening. Last 
last breath. Gently lifting up, hands under the chest first. And then roll the weight over onto the left hip. Practice swinging that right foot all the way around to the legs on left knee. Use the hands to guide you. Oh, actually, we're doing the twist first. So press the foot into the mat. Excuse me. Right knee points straight up. Get those sit bones down as much as you can. Inhale, sweep it up. And exhale, twist to the right. Left elbow hooks onto the right thigh somewhere, maybe the hand. Right hand drops below your tailbone. Sit up a nice and tall, grow taller. And exhale, twist your chin over to the right a little more. Let me come back to center, that little counter twist. Lower your chest down between the thumbs, off the mat over to the left, and then press back up. Moving yourself into the fire log, or pose first in the kitchen. Get those hips to stack, or hips and knees. And take it into your fire log, whichever is your pose today. Maybe noticing some differences, uh, which knees on top. Maybe you feel it in the ankles a little bit. Maybe there's some more back. Just notice where every body's holding it. And then send your breath there. Walk those hands side to side. You can do that. Make sure you even yourself out. And then gently coming back to center. However, you need to make your way back to down dog one last time. We're going to roll over those knees, hands under the shoulders, press back to your down dog. Maybe stretch out those feet a little bit, feel into the back of the legs after those longer holds. And we'll make our way to the front of the mat on the bottom of the next day. I'll walk super hop to the front of your mat. When you get there, inhale, half lift. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reverse one, then go all the way up to the stage. Come all the way up. And exhale, hands to the heart center, that left side. We'll come to an eagle pose, starting with right, grounding through left foot. So um, actually bring the arms out with an inhale. And exhale, right arms are going to go on your left to start. Right on your left to start. Pull those elbows away from you as much as you can. Breathe into the shoulders. Begin to come back into that chair pose with the hips. So those big toes to touch, squeeze the, lower those hips down to the chair. And then this is when we move the weight to the left foot. Pick your right foot up, try to wiggle it around the left calf. Full expression of eagle pose. Come into it by sinking those hips low. Pull the elbows farther away from you. Lift your gaze. Squeeze everything into one really tight line so your knees and elbows are in one line from the front. Take a little lower. Eagle arms with warrior three. So release the right foot, send it back. Keep the eagle arms, keep pulling the elbows away from you. Big shoulder stretch here. And then we ball top moon. We've been here today. So left hand lifts, right hand down to the floor. Or maybe there's that block on your right hand. Keep kicking that right foot as high as you can, twisting over to the left. And then plant the hands. Step back, take it through your last chaturanga vinyasa. Or simply lean down dog. One breath per movement. When you get to down dog, we'll come back to the front of the mat on the bottom of the next exhale. Leave the space between your hands, walk to the top. When you get there, inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reverse four on that nice big breath up. And exhale, we settle. 
Take the other side. So inhale, the arms come open, and then exhale, left from the right this time. You might even do that once or twice or three times. So try to get the best breath you can. Bring that big toes to touch. Begin to sweep the weight back, finding your last two of both legs. Make sure you're still pulling with all the weight from your knees is up, and then move the weight to the right foot. Begin to wrap your left foot around the right calf. Squeezing everything basically as tight as you can. Pull the elbows and knees into one line from the front. Keep sinking the hips low. Pull the elbows up, knees up. Warrior three with eagle arms. Work on that transition. Send the heel back, left to back. Beautiful. Nice and strong. And then unravel those arms to your last balancing posture. Revolve half moon, left hand down, right hand up. Ground with the right foot. Nice. And release the hands back down to the mat and lower yourself just gently onto your belly. Nice and slow. You can come down to the knees, then chest to chin. And we'll come to a shoulder stretch. So we'll take the right arm off to the right. And begin to roll over the hip, pressing left hand into the mat. Stacking your left hip on top of the right. Your left leg might stay straight, or might kind of bend the knee, put the knee up towards the sky. And then that left hand yeah, can stay on the mat. Or the left hand can move back to your right hand. <coughs> Gently make your way back through center. Find a neutral spine. And then take it over to the left. So stick that left arm out. Opening heart space. Go nice and slow. Feel the stretch from the finger all the way through to the front of your shoulder, all the way even to your that chest bone. Big stretch. Bend that right knee if you want. And press the heel to the mat behind you. hands under the shoulders, we'll press back to the child pose. Last little child pose, and stretch out that spine, send those hips down towards the heels, one way. Maybe wiggle the heels a couple times, or the hips a couple times. And then we'll come forward and all the way onto our backs, but readjust yourself um, so you're set up for the end of the class. So feet probably facing the front of the room. And we're going to have the last 10 minutes or so on our back. So if there's any little stretches in between you want to do. So down and lower down on your forearms, and then we'll come to a bridge pose. So keep your heels about where you can reach them with your fingertips. And we're gonna do three bridges. So you can move to wheel if you want on that second and third bridge. So make sure you can kind of touch those heels and then on an inhale, lift the hips, press through the heels, grab your hands together underneath you and begin to roll farther up onto your shoulder blades. You're tucking your upper arms underneath you. Press through the heels. Release your glutes. It might make those hips lower a little bit, but that's okay. Feel that C curve in your spine. Come up onto the tippy toes, release the hands, lower down one vertebrae at a time. Your first of three. 
When you're ready, press through those heels, inhale, lift the hips, bridge pose, come right back into it. You can grab the hands together beneath you, and then think about pressing your chest up towards your chin here. Chest reaching towards the chin. Release the glutes. Those thighs aren't doing the work here. It's the low back strength of the series. Come up onto the tippy toes. Release the hands. Roll down the river bit of time. Second of threes. If you want to come to wheel pose, you would bring your hands up by your ears now. Fingers facing down your back. And when you're ready, inhale, press through the heel, lift up, third bridge. <coughs> Beautiful job. And release all the way down. Last one. Bring those knees into the chest. Give yourself a little hug. <laughs> And come into a happy baby, grabbing outsides or insides of the feet. Maybe play around with something different today. Again, noticing that spine just wants to go nice and long on the mat and happy baby. Guide those knees towards the mat on both sides of the rib cage. Even your chin is kind of tucked, tucked down a little bit. So you're nice and tall. And then from here, I'll give you guys a full minute or so to get in any last stretches for your class before we meet Shavasana. We did a lot of spinal twists today, so I didn't add that at the end, but you can take a spinal twist, maybe there's an inversion you like, whatever your body needs. Just knowing that you're prepping for stillness here. And before we set up for Shavasana and jumped off into some meditation, I invite you to return to that intention that you set at the beginning of class. So now that we've kind of done some of that physical activity, felt the endorphins. What did it do to that intention? What did it do to your headspace, that heart mind? Maybe you want to add to it. Maybe you want to reaffirm your intention. Whatever it may be, just noticing, giving it one last focused attention. The best way to make it come true. And then prepping that body for Shavasana, let the legs go long, toes relax to the side. You can have the palms face up down by the side for a receiving gesture if you ask for something in your intention. Or if you want to tune into your body tonight, left hand on hard, right hand on your solar plexus, where your forward comes from. Tuck your chin down towards the chest a little bit. The last time you're going to grow tall through the crown of the head. And for the next few minutes, I invite you to your final meditation. Watch one of the two of
back movement back into your body by wiggling fingers, toes, let it wake up the rest of the body, the arms, the core, maybe rock your head side to side, let the eyes open, almost like it's that first breath in the morning. And then reach your hands overhead, flex those toes down, long body stretch, deep breath in, fill the lungs. Your exhale rolls you over onto your favorite side, right side for grounding, left side for energizing. And then gently pressing up to a comfortable seated position while in class sitting on our sit bones, cross-legged, hands on the knees. Gentle bow of the head, you can close the eyes if that's comfortable. We'll come together here for one last breath. Inhale, reach the hands overhead. Exhale, bring the thumbs down to your third eye center, your forehead space, and then bring all of your awareness inward to your third eye, the spot where you find your brows. For here, we're all connected. 